a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Mike Pyle, Fighter Michael Wayne Pyle is a retired American professional mixed martial artist who competed in the welterweight division of the UFC. A professional competitor since 1999, Pyle is a former WEC welterweight champion, and has also competed in Strike Force, Elite XC, Affliction, M1 Global, and for the Los Angeles Anacondas of the IFL. Background Pyle was born and raised in Dresden, Tennessee until the age of 17 when he moved to Birmingham, Alabama. It was there that he began studying Taekwondo. One of his training partners told him, Man you gotta check out this gauge fighter stuff they got going on. There's this guy who lays on the ground and breaks people's arms. The cage fighting they were talking about was the UFC. The man they were talking about was Royce Gracie. The masterful practitioner of the martial arts discipline known as Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu who won the tournaments at UFC 1, UFC 2 and UFC 4. Pyle created a gym in a 13 by 15 foot shed behind his mother's home in Dresden, searching for any instructional videos for Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu he could get his hands on as well attending seminars put together by the Gracie family, whenever they were close enough for him to make the drive. Despite having no formal Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu training, Pyle would go on to be a successful submission grappler in mixed martial arts, the large majority of his wins coming by submission. Early Career Pyle's first sanctioned amateur MMA fight was in 1999 against future UFC light heavyweight champion Quinton Jackson. The bout was on ISCF MMA and IKF kickboxing promoter Jeff Mullen's November 13th event at the New Daisy Theater in Memphis, Tennessee. Pyle and Jackson were to be the main event and was supposed to be for the ISCF Amateur Mid-South Regional Middleweight title. However, Jackson weighed in 25 pounds heavy for the title so technically, Pyle won by forfeit. But this could not keep these two from going for it in the ring. The young Pyle, who tried various different submissions during the fight, was thrown and slammed several times, at one point being actually thrown out of the ring by the future Pride veteran. In the end, Jackson won by unanimous decision, but Pyle, who had also fought with two broken fingers, felt that he had won and was quick to ask for a rematch. From this fight, Pyle learned that just jiu-jitsu wasn't going to be able to cut it. World Extreme Cage Fighting On October 14, 2005, Pyle became the WEC welterweight champion by defeating Brett Bergmark. He successfully defended the title against veteran Shoney Carter on January 13, 2006. He defeated Carter by triangle choke submission in the first round. Pyle then left the WEC for the IFL and was stripped of the title in December 2006. The IFL and Affliction Pyle fought three times in the IFL fights as a member of Bass Rutan's Los Angeles Anacondas. He also fought for Elite XC, Strike Force. And he was featured on the preliminary card of the first event go promoted by Affliction Clothing and Adrenaline MMA, Affliction, Band. Ultimate Fighting Championship Pyle then signed with the UFC as a replacement for Chris Wilson, fighting Brock Larson at UFC 98. Pyle took the fight on just one week's notice. Pyle lost in the first round via arm triangle choke. Next, he fought and defeated Wilson at UFC Fight Night, Diaz vs Gillard by submission due to a guillotine choke in the third round. Pyle was defeated by Jake Ellenberger via second round TKO on January 2, 2010 at UFC 108. Pyle defeated Jesse Lennox at UFC 115 on June 12, 2010. Pyle largely controlled the bout and won via technical submission. When his opponent passed out in a triangle choke late in the third round, Pyle gave John Hathaway his first professional MMA loss via unanimous decision on October 16, 2010 at UFC 120, replacing an injured Dong Hyun Kim. He controlled the fight for all three rounds, outstriking and outgrappling Hathaway even going as far as putting Hathaway in a modified crucifix triangle choke hold and raining down unanswered strikes. Pyle faced Ricardo Almeida on March 19, 2011 at UFC 128. Pyle won the fight via unanimous decision. Pyle next faced Rory McDonald on August 6, 2011 at UFC 133. 
he lost the fight via TKO in the first round. Pyle was expected to face Paolo Thiago on January 14, 2012 at UFC 142. However, Thiago was forced out of the bout with an injury and replaced by Ricardo Funch. Pyle won the bout via TKO in the first round. Pyle faced Josh Neer on June 8, 2012 at UFC on FX3. Pyle defeated Neer via first round KO, earning knockout of the night honors. Pyle was then matched up against James Head on December 15, 2012 at the Ultimate Fighter, Team Carwin vs Team Nelson Finale. He won the fight via TKO in the first round. Pyle was expected to face Gunnar Nelson on May 25, 2013 at UFC 160. However, Nelson pulled out of the bout citing an injury and was replaced by Rick Story. Although he got knocked down in the end of the first round, Pyle withstood Story's attack and recovered in the second round, coming close to submitting his opponent with a kimura. In the third round Pyle came on strong, landing numerous knees and elbows and hurting Story. Pyle won the fight via split decision. Pyle next faced Matt Brown on August 17, 2013 at UFC Fight Night 26. Brown defeated Pyle via first round knockout. Pyle faced TJ Waldberger on February 22, 2014 at UFC 170. He won via TKO in the third round, after hurting Waldberger with two elbows and a knee. Pyle was expected to face Demian Meyer on August 23, 2014 at UFC Fight Night 49. However, Meyer pulled out of the fight with an injury, and was replaced by Jordan Mine. He lost the fight via TKO in the first round. Pyle was expected to face Sean Spencer on May 23, 2015 at UFC 187. However, on April 23, Spencer pulled out of the fight with an undisclosed injury and was replaced by Colby Covington. Pyle lost the fight via unanimous decision. The bout with Spencer was rescheduled and eventually took place on February 6, 2016, at UFC Fight Night 82. Pyle won the back and forth fight via TKO in the third round, after landing a spinning elbow and following up with punches, elbows and knees. Pyle was also awarded his first fight of the night bonus award. Pyle next faced Alberto Mina on July 7, 2016, at UFC Fight Night 90. He lost the fight via knockout in the second round. Pyle faced Alex Garcia on December 30, 2016 at UFC 207. He lost the fight by knockout in the first round. Pyle faced Zach Otow on March 3, 2018 at UFC 222. He lost the fight via TKO in the first round. Pyle retired from MMA competition after this fight. Personal life Pyle and his girlfriend were married in October 2009. Pyle played the role of Captain Kevin Burke in the movie Universal Soldier, Regeneration starring Jean-Claude Van Damme, Dolph Lundgren and fellow MMA fighter Andrei Arlovsky. Pyle played a small part in the 2012 blockbuster Men in Black 3 starring Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?